Great news for electric vehicle adoption, friends. Tesla finally flipped the switch and its supercharger network became the largest public 150 kilowatt plus fast charging network on the planet. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel and please give us thumbs up if you find this report that I'm about to tell you interesting. We know what happened. After recently expanding its supercharger pilot program for non-Tesla electric vehicle owners, the supercharger network became now the largest 150 kilowatt plus public fast charging network in Europe overnight. It's quite impressive that Tesla did that basically by just flipping the switch, Tess, uh, says um, electric. But this is far more than simply flipping the switch. I'll tell you why. Look. Tesla had to add CCS cords to all stations and at the second communications interface, um, uh, the Tesla system uses the J2411 CAN. So it was um, basically far from uh, flipping the switch. Only after all that other work was done, was there even a switch to be flipped? I don't know, but things happened overnight and Tesla had to change thousands of uh, cords uh, throughout Europe, but not overnight. The switch happened overnight. Tesla was early in investing charging infrastructure, friends, which led to the supercharger becoming the largest global fast charging network. The company has been criticized for only providing charging for its own customers when most other networks are for all electric vehicles. But there basically wasn't any other electric vehicle when Tesla started working on the supercharger network. It was basically Tesla, so Tesla adapted for that. But now it's good that everything is changing. So if you have another EV, you can charge a Tesla faster. Only lately has the automaker started to work on opening up the network to other electric vehicle owners. In November 2021, and I've reported the Torque News YouTube channel, we saw Tesla take its first step uh, with a pilot program running at 10 supercharger stations in the Netherlands, where non-Tesla electric vehicle owners can charge using the Tesla app. You need Tesla app for this, and it's good for Tesla. When announcing the new pilot program, Tesla said that it planned to slowly expand it as it tests the user experience for both new non-Tesla electric vehicle owners being on board on the network and currently Tesla owners who are going to see more traffic at those charging stations. In January, the automaker announced that the program was expanding to more stations in Norway and France. And a month later, the program was expanded to all supercharger stations in the Netherlands. Finally, Tesla made its biggest expansion of the pilot program last week by opening many more supercharger stations in the United Kingdom, Spain, Sweden, Belgium, and Australia to all electric vehicle owners. Jerome van Tilburg, Tesla's head of supercharging in EMEA, had an interesting note about the pilot program. Following the latest expansion, he said that the network of supercharger stations open to non-Tesla electric vehicle owners in Europe has become the largest network of 150 kilowatt plus public fast charging stations. Look what he wrote on LinkedIn. Listen to this. Becoming the largest 150 kilowatt plus CPO instantly. Today, we have expanded the non-Tesla supercharger pilot to Australia, uh, actually Austria, Belgium, Spain, Sweden, and the United Kingdom, in addition to our existing pilot sites in the Netherlands, France, and Norway, accelerating the transition to a sustainable future for everyone. It's a hard claim to confirm, but it is likely true that Tesla is already offering more fast charging with a capacity of 150 kilowatt or more for all electric vehicles than any other charging network operator. Ionity has 417 charging stations deployed in Europe, about twice as many as Tesla supercharger stations in the pilot program for all electric vehicles, but Ionity is averaging only 4.1 chargers per station for a total of 1,738 fast charging stations. Electric says 
it could not verify the number of chargers at all uh, approximately 200 stations in Tesla's pilot program but it appears to be close to its overall average of nine chargers per station which should put Tesla's pilot program just above Ionity's whole network in Europe. Of course, it was more complicated than simply flipping a switch, as I said, as Tesla had to validate charging a variety of electric vehicles on its superchargers, but it is still way simpler since the automaker didn't deploy any new stations to achieve that feat. A couple of days ago, I was test driving a Mercedes EQS 450 Plus, by the way, great car, and then I needed to charge outside um, uh, I could charge at home I was but that I wanted to charge outside to make it full before the company that brought me to can take it back because they were coming out of state and uh, I went to uh, charge point I believe it and it was very very slow so it's good to see more options for um, fast charging with Tesla what do you think friends about this it's good to see the switch we uh, flipped finally Hope it's coming also to United States and we'll look forward to that. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Let me know your thoughts about charging in general. Let's have a good discussion on that. And I'll see you soon in our next report. God bless you everyone. Peace be with all of you. And please give us thumbs up.